and welcome to Star Inside News. Today we are going to share Prince Harry, Prince William and more of Queen Elizabeth grandchildren hold vigil next to her cock. Queen Elizabeth II, eight grandchildren including Prince Harry, Prince William, Prince Beatrice, Prince Eugene and more paid their respect to their late grandmother in a vigil on September 17. Queen Elizabeth II grandchildren are honoring their beloved granny in a vigil held next to the late monarch coffin at Westminster Hall at the Palace of Westminster in London on September 17. The Queen's eight grandchildren, including King Charles III, son Prince William and Prince Harry, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Jean, Peter Philip, Zara Tyndall, Lady Louis Windsor, and James Viscount Severin, all gathered to pay their tribute to Her Majesty. The vigil comes a little more than a week after Queen Elizabeth died on September 8 at the age of 96. William Forty, the new Prince of Wales, led his cousin inside for 15 minutes. He stood at the head of the coffin, flanked by Zara 41 and Peter 42. Princess Annie children, Harry 38, held vigil on the opposite end of the coffin, next to Beatrice 34 and Eugene 32. Prince Andrew daughter, Louise 18 and James 14, Prince Edward kid, kids stood at the middle. The Queen grandchildren bowed as member of the public who lined up for many hours walked past them to view the coffin which was draped in the royal standard with the imperial state crown and the sovereign orb and scepter laying in a state of the catafalque. Both William and Harry wore their military uniform. The Kingdom Palace confirmed the later bow would wear his for the vigil at the Queen's request. Sky News reported Harry, a UK veteran like his brother, and who served on the front line during two hours of duty in Afghanistan, had been stripped of his military titles. Following his and wife Meghan Markle 2020 royal exit, and had not been allowed to wear his uniform until the Queen vigils, William wore the Blues and Royals number one uniform. The Garter Sash, the Garter Star, the Golden Diamond and Platinum Jubilee Medals and RAF Pilot Wings. According to Sky News, Harry wore a Blues and Royals number no. 1 uniform, KCVO Neck Order and Star Afghanistan Operational Service Medal, Golden Diamond and Platinum Jubilee Medal and Army Pilot Wings, the outlet said. A day earlier, the Queen four grandchildren, Charles, Annie, Andrew and Edward, held a vigil of their own beside of her coffin. Since the Queen death, members of the royal family have also appeared in public to greet mourners. Hours before the grandchildren stood vigil, the King and Williams made surprise with his visit to greet the scores of fans waiting in line to view the late monarch coffin. And two days following her passing, William and Harry, accompanied by their wives Kate Middleton, Aka, Catherine, Princess of Wales and Meghan greeted fans at Windsor Castle. Harry told mourner, mourners that the historic location was a lonely place up there now without her, adding that every room she was in we felt her presence throughout. The couple joined appearance marked the first time they have all been photographed together in more than two years amid report, reported tension between the brothers and their wives, fueled, fueled by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex royal exit. William and Harry have reunited at a royal event since then and have put a united front in the wake of the Queen's death. On September 10, William reflected on losing such an extraordinary leader. My grandmother famously said that grief was the prince we pay for love. The prince wrote in a statement, all of the sadness we will feel in the coming grief will be testament to the love we felt for our extraordinary queen. I will honor her memory by supporting my father, the king, in every way I can. If you like the video, kindly like, comment, share and subscribe.